Hi, I'm Nadia, and today I'm going to show you how you can use word clouds in your class in a fun way to spice up your students' learning experience. But first of all, do you know what word clouds is? Basically, it's a collection of words used in a context, a story or a song or an article. And the size can show you the importance of the word or how many times the word occurs in specific context. So today, I'm going to show you different ways you can use that in class. And toward the end, I'm going to show you also how to make it yourself. So you can be creative and make word clouds like this, or this one, or even two. Interesting, right? Let's go! These seven games or activities can be done separately on their own or as a series of activities in a continuous lesson. I usually use Google Slides and Zoom so students can work collaboratively in a shared file in breakout rooms as a group to ensure every student gets a fair chance to speak in a smaller environment instead of in a big class all the time. All right, let's go to the first activity, which is assembling jigsaw puzzle. So students will work in groups, so teachers can send them in different breakout rooms. And inside the room, they work together with their members of the group to arrange the puzzle pieces in five minutes. You can time them using this video. And when the puzzle is done or the time is finished, um, the students can leave the breakout room and go back to the main room and the teachers can see which group um, is the winner. You can show them the finished image so the students know what to expect from the puzzle. And if you want to know how to make a puzzle from the word cloud, from the image like this, you can go to my video on how to make a puzzle in Google Slides. I will put the link in the video description down here. This is the puzzles. As you see, there are 20 pieces and the members of the group, they have to work together and put the correct pieces on each number. To make it easier for the teachers to monitor, you can put different numbers on each puzzles. So you can monitor like this and see their movement. second activity would be how many words. So here, each group need to type as many words from the word cloud that they have assembled before in five minutes. The thing is, only the team secretary can type. Others can only help by telling him or her what to type. However, to make a fair share between everyone in the group, so maybe you can set uh, rules like every five words type uh, the team secretary needs to be changed so everyone can have the same opportunity to write and at the end of five minutes you can ask them to count how many words that they find in the word cloud it will look something like this uh, so the secretary will type over here while the other shout the answer um, the the words I mean to him or her. The teacher can show them the answer like this. So they can compare, do they have the same words or no. Next, the third one is classification. Students in group needs to classify these words that already been typed into different category, adjective, noun, verb, clothes, winter sports, animals, or any other that they can take off and use different color for different categories. It will look something like this. See, they are different color. And after that, they can use this to play 20 questions. Of course, again, in one group, one person in each group, they will choose a thing here and give a clue to the other. For example, I'm thinking about a noun. So the others will spontaneously know that noun would be the words in red. Okay, so they can ask yes or no question about that. Uh, for example, like, is this noun 
made of snow? Answer could be yes or no. If it's snow, oh, so it's not snowman. So maybe another thing. Yeah. So keep going, asking questions until one can guess the word or until 20 questions have been asked. The next one will be chain story. So one student can start with making a sentence or introduction of the story using as many words as they can and write down the score over there. For example, the first students in a group will say, last winter we were going snowboarding in Mount Fuji. Oh, so this one, two words. And then the second person has to continue the story. Unfortunately, there was a huge thunderstorm when we were about to go hiking. So there are two words from the word cloud. And also they can cross it so everybody else know that it's been used and no one can use it again like that. So then after you play that for five minutes in different groups, you can go back again and compare which group has the most interesting stories or which group has used the most words. The next activity would be to compare and contrast. So you can use two word clouds here. So the first one here in example is about animal and the other one is about adjective. Again, the students can play in group of four and five. Each student take turn using words in both word clouds and cross the used words afterwards. For example, the first person would start by making a sentence with monkey. Monkeys are smaller than gorillas. And then the second person will continue with gorillas. Gorillas are stronger than pandas. And then the third person will continue with pandas. Pandas have thicker fur than koalas. Yeah? So they go on and on until a person cannot continue and he lost. The last activity of listen and cross the word First, the teacher asks the students to guess the title of the song by looking at the lyrics, the words in the word cloud. If they can't guess, so teachers can play the instrumental song. Hopefully, by listening to the song, they can guess the title. Then. The students will listen to the song played by the teachers like this. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Ah, when the teacher stop the song in some part, they have to pay attention to the last word. In this case, it's woolen. And they have to compete finding the word and cross it like this students continue playing that you can do it in groups or individually and the winner is the one who gets the most words and afterwards you can continue to follow up activities by doing song song lyric the next activity could be matching for example like find the kittens and then they can come here and oh this is the kitten also can copy this and put this next to the picture so you can do a matching game like that as well now I'm gonna show you how to make your own word cloud by going to this wordart.com website and here you just click create now because I already have an account here it will bring me to my list of files you just create one First of all, you have to write down the title and then to input the words, yeah, you just click import over here. You can type the list yourself, chicken, duck, and so on. However, you can also copy paste. For example, here I have a list of wild animals. I just copy, paste it here, and then just import words. Then you can play around with the option. You can repeat the words or no. And then if you visualize this, 
just click the visualize button uh, you can play around with the size for example you want gorilla to be bigger shark also leopard the biggest is antelope okay and then you can just visualize again all right also you can play around with the shapes for example because this is animal you want to change it into one animal so just visualize it also you can play around with the font and also the layout or the style so instead of just one color you can change it to custom color and also you can play around with the palette if you want to erase all of this uh, use a random color or you can choose a color and add to palette choose a color and add to palette like that and then just close it visualize it yep and then you can make the background transparent also you can play around with the background image like this and also there's a animated words over here but when you download it you won't, wouldn't be able to do this it's only in this website so you can play around with the speed over here this is extra fast and this one is slower so also you can play around with the words as well so you can import from different website for example you want to have words from a story for example the end and the grasshopper this is the website you can just copy it copy paste it here import the words and then you can just visualize it also you can change the shape to match the theme by adding your own image for example here i already find like google the image of grasshopper so i'm gonna open image from my computer because i already downloaded use the grasshopper over here okay just visualize it see if you want to have more color just use custom right and make it transparent maybe and at the end you just download it standard PNG you can download the high definition PNG but you have to pay for that so standard PNG will do okay, it will show here or on your download folder so you just gonna go to your google slide and insert image upload from your computer click this nah, and then you can resize it Ta-da! finish it's easy anyone can do it these are some of the word clouds i use with my students as you see here uh, there are only two students they making sentences using adjective in here not making sentences but they write a paragraph using as many words in the words cloud also in here from this word cloud in five minutes these two students list as many words from there and then the winner is the one with the most words thank you so much for watching if you have any questions feel free to write down in the comment section below and i'll see you again on my next videos thank you bye